All right, what's going on? It's another day. It's a beautiful day in Ireland. Another fucking raining day all together. I am currently in my office, or at least my second office, which is in my car outside my gym. Um, spend a lot of time here, man. Fuck arsing around, chatting to this camera, filling out fucking loads of different shit in regards to um, client check-ins and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, it's a couple of minutes in the day I get to sit down uh, and just kind of fucking zen out. This is 10 minutes before, 10 minutes after. And uh, we got legs on today. And I just said I'd bring up the camera as I have, I wouldn't say it's an important message, but it's just a message nonetheless. And that message is, you know, regarding workout plans and you know, do you need a workout plan? Should you get a workout plan? What kind of people need a workout plan? Well, there isn't a good answer for you. I don't have a good answer for you. Um, or at least I don't have a good straight answer, whether it's a yes or a no. You know, the closest I could get to a yes or no answer would be, you know, I'd ask you the question then. You ask me, do I need a program? I ask you, uh, you know, what kind of person are you? Are you a person that, you know, yo-yos, like good on Monday and by Friday you're shite? Or, you know, are you driven? Do you really want it that bad? And anything you say goes. Um, and basically the line between that is if you're the kind of person who just reacts and goes through the motions and if you're tired today, that oh, today is going to be a shit day. And, you know, if you wake up and, yeah, you know, something bad happens and the whole day is shocked, man. In that case, I'd really recommend getting yourself, oh. This is so fucking messy, yeah. But yeah, if you're the kind of fella to just, um, or fucking woman, to just go through the motions, uh, you know, if they feel like it, they'll do a really good job, and if they don't really feel like it, you know, then, then they kind of half arse it, or they kind of, you know, give themselves a way out, give them an excuse of a way out. Then I'd recommend getting a program. And basically, it doesn't have to be a hard program. It doesn't need to be anything in particular. It's just so, look, if you start off the week and you say, look, this is the bare minimum I need to do. I train, you know, well, let's example, three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. If you have that down on your fucking book and you have the, you know, the programs written out, you can't skip out, man. You got to hold yourself accountable. This is the bare minimum that needs to be done. And if you feel good on some days, of course, you can do more. But at least on those shit days of like, ah. Uh, if you don't have any actual goals to hit, of course you're going to allow yourself to slip. But if you have stuff written in the script, of course you're going to have to try and hold yourself accountable. And then again, if you felt so bad and you didn't get it done, you would know, okay, fuck, you know, I actually failed this week. And learn from that failure and then go again next week. As to the contents of a program, there is no golden, you know, um, program that's going to work. You know, there is no X, double up, Y, left trigger right trigger up down xyz fucking you know there is none of that in the fitness industry in regards to a perfect program the perfect program contains consistency contains effort you know all that bullshit where i would see fit of don't get a um program is if you're only getting into the gym uh it seems a bit weird oh how could you go to a gym and not have a program sure if you're new how the fuck are you gonna make any gains but my theory behind that is look if you're new Anything you do is going to see results, really. Like, I mean, you you know, you just fucking maximize these uh, these newbie gains. So if you go in and you try squats, and you don't like squats, so you try fucking Bulgarian split squats, and then you try front squats the next day. You know, none of that's on your program, but you got to try every single exercise, uh, and you get to find out what works for you and what doesn't work for you. Again, you know, I say that loosely because is a beginner then, you know, going to slack during the week? Possibly. But again, they're still gonna see really good results. Right, that's my few cents. Let's go and train legs. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do a little voiceover for this part of the video, just because I feel like I can give a little bit more insight as to what is going on. And now please do not pay attention to any of the weights that I'm pushing, or my fucking skinny legs for that matter. Man, this angle is not flattering at all. So the reason behind the single uh, leg leg press is, it's one of the exercises I do at the beginning of a leg uh, workout, and it's just to try and get the, you know, the legs fired up, drive fucking blood into the muscle, you know, with this one primarily you just want to focus on pushing through the heel. I see a lot of people on their tippy toes on this thing. No, you want to be driving all the fucking force right through the heel. Uh, and obviously fucking the same goes with the slow, um, with the snow, <coughs> excuse me, with the slow fucking negative rep. Uh, we're doing this one take. We're fucking not fucking up around here. We're only going to show one separate exercise, you know, just for fucking convenience sake. This is me trying a, uh, 
uh, front squat. I've been playing around with front squats for a while. I uh, I do like a back squat. I just find that my, you know, how do I fucking verbally explain this? My torso leans so far forward trying to keep, you know, a straight back that I end up fucking hinging from my hip upwards. And it's just a lot of fucking, uh, it's a lot of fucking stress there for the lower back. Um, and I find with this one, again, like I'm trying to focus on the contraction. There's only 60 kilos on the bar. You know, Chris, could you be going a little lower there? Yes. Um, I also try to find my foot in the type of stance. I go wide, I go narrow, I go wide. I just don't know which one fucking I like better. Uh, at the minute I'm rocking a white stance but look we fucking move this one here uh, and our little fucking RDL fucking nice little uh, one for the old hammies started going a little bit heavier and you know I really do like these ones I don't know if I prefer dumbbells over barbell some days I'll come into the gym and I just fucking prefer barbell and then other days I can't fucking despise it you know you'll always see me walk around with bloody shins my little fucking weak shins man any sort of deadlifts or RDLs man bust open me fucking shins but uh, all in all look a nice one trying to control the nice slow fucking um, negative part of the rep you know driving it up nice and quick cram. going for about a 3010 tempo um, not too shabby Chris not too fucking shabby uh, moving on to the fucking leg curl. This one's fairly fucking standard. Everyone knows form on this. I will say, however, you want to be driving your hips into that little bit of the pad, that last bit of the pad there that's off at an angle. You want to be driving your hips into that. I see these people start to arc their back and just trying to fucking swing that weight up. You know, if the weight's too heavy, the weight's too heavy. Uh, and other than that, look, just fucking hold on for dear life, my pal. Not looking too bad here from the back, you know, maybe a fucking tan might bring out them, them aesthetics a little bit more, you know, all in all the hammy's not looking too bad. Uh, I think with this one I do a drop set as well. Yeah, whip it in there Chris, you up over that. Drop set on the old hamstrings, as I find a lot of my leg programs are quad dominance between the squats, the leg presses, the hack squats, the leg extensions, you know, all that kind of crack. You don't really have time for me babies at the back, you know, that's why I spend a lot of time on the previous exercise. And with this one thrown in a drop set or a super set with it or any sort of fucking, you know, nice variations to really stimulate those hammies. Uh, actually, I fucking go a step further I think I threw it in um, the full back end of the leg there. I think there's a bit of, a bit of a calf raise coming up now in a second, not to, not to spoil the movie for you. Go on, get it up. Sloppy last few reps, you see the negative start to fucking disappear. Don't know if you can see that burn on me right fucking uh, on me right lat there. Got scalded in the sauna the last day. I don't know if you can make out the letter. I think it's an N or a H. But we move straight into the final part of the try set here is the calf raise. Um, I've just been digging seated calf raises over standing and I'm fucking paranoid about knees man. I see everyone walking around with knee fucking uh, bandages here and there and man I just know it's in my future uh, and quite now I just have the, I don't have a twinge in my knee, I think I have a twinge in my knee which is almost worse. I'm so paranoid about fucking getting injured it's ridiculous. Um, now what I also didn't put into this video is before I was about a 15 minute warm up routine of just mixed uh, a bit of fucking list at the beginning, uh, steady state cardio for those and just some dynamic warm ups in regards to just getting the body nice and warm, getting that lower back nice and prepped as well and just like making sure the trigger points like ankles and fucking elbows and knees that are nice and warmed and lubricated before we go. And here's a, a little bit of a fucking check in legs looking all right you know the aesthetics is there the size is not unfortunately it's just not uh, I don't know what these little side poses are <laughs> these are fucking a desperate attempt of trying to show you me hamstrings go on get it up there little fucking little fucking bit of bum cheek there for you and uh, yeah look man I appreciate the uh, the watch as well we're gonna walk into the video you power that Look at that driving side angle. All right, people, how are we getting on? Uh, yeah, so just finished that leg session there. So we did. Let's see if this camera falls going around this corner. Watch this. Oh, oh, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. We're back again with the dodgy side angle. Uh, yeah, so look, uh, just finished up my first leg session of the day. I've uh, started training legs twice a day when I do train them. I do push, pull, legs, legs. Um, and the reason for that is just basically, look, 
the uh, I've I've stopped training for weights. I've spent a lot of my time trying to push as heavy a weight as possible, and obviously that is the case with most exercises. But for some reason with my legs, I just find it very hard to activate. You know, specific muscles. You know, it's obviously easy on a leg extension, but on a squat, like I'm moving the weight, yeah, but I'm not necessarily you know targeting the correct muscles. So I have completely slashed my weights in half in terms of you know how heavy I'm going and I've just increased my reps and sets in hopes of trying to uh, focus in on the contraction of the muscle while we are using it. Thanks to Raj for a lot of the filming. What else is on for the day? I have to, I'm gonna go jump in the sea. I'm gonna go jump in the sea because you know, because I don't have a cold bath and you know I've been doing a lot of sauna work recently and I love it you know and I do the cold shower as well but a proper plunge into something cold you know I haven't necessarily uh, got the cojones to be doing that too often so we're gonna go jump in the sea and we're gonna take the little doggy for a walk and see what else happens oh my god it looks cold it looks freezing uh, probably close to the side, yeah. Uh, yeah, fuck it, here'll do. Oh, I'm already cold. I'm already very cold. Can you even see me in that? I'm already very, very cold. Okay. This is me fucking cold lunch. Yeah, bastard. We've become a regular habit. It's all right. Mission successful. Heart rate at about 180. <laughs> you power that. Very much. All right, what's going on? Oosh, look at that fucking side angle. Part two of my leg session. Um, where are we up to today? Is 10 past six on the Monday. Go on, focusing on that, you absolute dirtbag. Right, well, either way, it is 10 past six on Monday, second leg session of the day. Sorry if you can't even see my face there. Uh, we're also experimenting with um, front squats. Uh, you know, obviously we have to start a lot lighter than that. I have to do my time in the trenches in that exercise. Uh, I did a little bit of front squatting today, as you might have seen, and uh, the bar is just slipping off my shoulders. So, uh, you know, I'm definitely not too well endowed when it comes to front squats. But I did like him today and I definitely wish to continue with them So to aim at this session is again just to pump a bit more volume into my legs And of course just chase the fucking pump, you know get some dirty volume going in and again uh, I probably won't record too much of this one. Uh, I know Raj big man fucking Empire State good lad him uh, Did me fucking camera work this time around that was early in the morning six o'clock now peak time So in fairness out of respect for all uh, the home of champions and all their fucking and gym goers you know we'll probably just keep the camera in the car for now but if anything happens we'll fucking let you know and we will check in after legs numero dos i'm on the old handheld at the minute what's going on so that was our second leg session done uh it was actually yesterday but i am um, jeez look at these angles but um yeah, so that was our second leg session done yesterday. Uh, primary focus was just to really get a, you know, focus in on the mind to muscle contractions. And I know that sounds as pure like fucking gypsy magic, like, but that's what we're just doing. So, take it or leave it. Um, I'm gonna leave the video there as these can get quite long very fast. Um, do we bring back these hats? It's that time of year again, and you know kind of like the hats let me know if you want me to bring these back and um, look thank you very much for watching we'll go again you build